What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and another fun Chaos 7 in-game build. So we are here on Greystone Plaza and we all know that Earth Shatters have changed quite a bit in the last update and they are just beastly. Now on that same note the Shatter combo also changed and although Shatter no longer essentially one-shots everything it still does a absolutely fantastic amount of damage. So we're going to work the Shatter combo here on this build using the Frozen Proton Beams plus getting some crushing damage from the Earth Shatters. So each lane we have one, this lane has two Earth Shatters and then two V-shaped Proton Beams and then Sky Guards to help out with the Kobolds. One uh, Sky Guard for each lane. Now this lane, since it is prone to having issues with Kobolds dive bombing the West Gate Lock, I went on and threw a couple of Flamars up front here as well, just to help ease the pain a little bit. However, the Earth Shatters and those Protons are going to get just a ton of action. Let's go ahead and fire it up and let's see how it does. Now wave one here, definitely going to want to be conscious of this lane as it, it, this lane can just go wrong at any time. Those of you that are grinding Chaos 7 now know that this lane is quite the headache. And if you ever have any problems on this map, it's almost always on this lane. Let's see if we can uh, actually watch some of these shatters in motion. It actually appears like everything is dying really quick. The Earth Shatters are actually just devastating things before they even make it to the Protons. This guy will make it. No, no, not, maybe not. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with having towers that hit too hard. <laughs> and we definitely have that here with the Earth Shatter. Now, I mentioned it in the Hero Spotlight for the Earth Shatter. You see it's already done 70 million in climbing damage. A lot of that damage is overkill as the Earth Shatters are hitting harder than what the bulk of the mobs have in health. So uh, you get an awful lot of one shots there. And oh my, those Earth Shatters are mean. Now uh, the Proton of course scales as if it was a 20 DU tower. So I do want to get upgrades on every Proton Beam in the map before we start focusing on those Earth Shatters any further. Now, I also need to be concerned with flyers, as this is Chaos 7, and it's all about the flyers. So we're going to give those Sky Guards a little love as well. Let's see, I got 244 left. Not a ton left, but should be able to get a round of upgrades on the Protons and the Sky Guards. Let me go ahead and hit this wall, too. Why not? Yeah, it looks like we're not actually going to get them all get that proton then I'll just watch this lane and get a, another upgrade going on just as soon as I get what three more three more green mana that should actually be it maybe there we go get those guys upgrade and then head back over so just check out the glory here on this lane you see the earth shatters are just devastating everything A lot of these mobs, if the Earth Shatters crit, it's in some cases doing two to three times their total health. And Lady Orcs just, with the massive range of Earth Shatters, those Lady Orcs, as you see, are just not making it too far before the Earth Shatters just start pounding them into the ground. Let's take a look at how this ogre fares here. He's getting tore up. Here's the stun. Come on, let's get some more freezes. One more freeze. Man, it looks like another freeze is not going to go off before the Earth Shatters just have their way with them. Bosses are no match for the Earth Shatter just because that range is so crazy good. And they hit so hard on top of it that you just... Nothing can make it. You know, nothing stands a chance. Let's go ahead and throw a little love onto the Earth Shatters this time around and really watch the numbers just completely take off. 
Uh, 80 left. I think I'll just save that. And then let's take an eye. Let's keep an eye on this lane and look at this Earth Shatter. You see, it's done 161 million damage now, just uh, from waves 1 and 2. And compare that to the Proton Beams, which are 14.5. Now, of course, nothing's making it to the beams. Everything's getting wrecked prior. Now, if we look at those R's, 121 million and 127 million. So they're a little closer, but they're still just not coming close to the amount of damage done by the Earth Shatter Tower. Now, of course, the Earth Shatter is single target, and that is part of why it is able to have such masses, massive damage. This actually worked a lot better when I was testing it, as far as actually seeing the Shatter combo. There was a nice one. And then, of course, having the Protons means instant assassin removal, as the freeze is just crazy good. Let's see, we got a roller coming out on this lane. I think I got a monk here. I do indeed. And then of course you see the proton also will freeze up the siege roller. Providing just an awesome amount of CC with it. Very, very nice. And we got what, some stuck mobs maybe? What do we got going over here? There, a little wither beast didn't want to come out. It's all right, little guy. All right, wave four now, and as you see, just not even close to being challenged because these earth shatters are just absolutely insane. Now I'm rolling with uh, a medallion with power transfer, of course, uh, exactly the way I did in the earth shatter hero spotlight. And let's compare them now. See, the Earth Shatter's done 230 million, and the Flame Auras have done 145, and 153. So the Earth Shatter now, not quite doubled, but it's doing a very, very nice job dishing out the pain. And you can kind of uh, kick back and relax a little, as you've got, the, you've got all the requirements. You've got awesome CC in the lane. You've got crazy damage in the lane, because even though the Protons are providing the CC, they of course are also just absolutely wonderful damage. And then as you'll see there, the Earth Shatter goes right through the Geodes as it comes from the ground up and is not a projectile tower. So Geodes don't stand a chance either. And let's get rid of these Assassins the easy way. Here's Assassin number one gone. Actually, that was two assassins there. We should have what? Should have, should be one more assassin coming, I think. Give Malthus a bit of a headache. No, I guess there are no more assassins. Now, this is a display of the crazy range you get. This is the Earth Shatter for that lane over there. And I decided to go ahead and put it way, way over here. That way I wouldn't even have to think about it with any Kobolds, as there's just no chance that a Kobold is going to make it all the way over there to dive bomb that particular Earth Shatter. See how we're doing in the mid here. See, and we got a Zapper. Now, Zapper, of course, is not going to get hit by the Earth Shatter, as it is a flying target, so we're going to have to rely on the Sky Guards, and they got the job done. And then once again, some instant assassin removal from the proton beams with the freeze. It's actually, you know, it's not the... Like, geyser traps, uh, the Huntress's geysers, instant removal. Um, the Squire's uh, training dummies with stun on them is instant removal. There's a lot of ways to get rid of assassins right away. But one of my favorites is, without a doubt, the Proton Beams. See how this Ogre fares. Is he coming from the middle lane? Oh yeah, he's going to get double Earth Shattered. This should not go too well for him. Oh yeah, Ogre is just getting hammered. And then we got another Siege Roller and a Malthus. 
We'll let Matthias come out. I'll go ahead and work on the seat roller a bit. And there we go. Got the legendaries dropping. Very, very nice. And it looks like Malthus finally popped his big old head out over on the other side. And is promptly getting earth shattered. Yeah, I couldn't even make it back over to take another look at him. So there is a look at some frozen earth shatters and that shatter combo taking advantage of the frozen proton beams and the apprentice earth shatter tower. So hope hope you enjoyed, and I hopefully this allows you to try out some different stats or different uh, strats. Pardon me, to mix up the grind for you a little once you get to Chaos Seven. So thanks once again. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with some more Dungeon Defenders Two. We'll see ya.